think it came out like with nostalgia. It's not something you plan to have, you know. You either have it or you don't. So, so obviously, you know, for me, that was the time of my childhood. So, everyone, especially after a certain age, starts starts missing their childhood and and going back in time. And uh, and Ida definitely reflects that, you know, look, looking back. Of course, for a lot of people, it's just a very depressing black and white film about a depressing place mm -hmm. and a depressing time. So it depends who's watching, you know. I mean, some people get very moved and and feel the the love and the images and the choice of of actors and extras and all the details. And others just see it's a grim, depressing black and white Polish movie. To hell with it, you know. I mean, I get extreme reactions. Early 60s, I remember it in black and white. I was very small, but I, I, I still saw films. And later I saw family albums and, and stuff, which was all black and white. So I remember and I imagined that time in black and white. Uh, and at the same time, I wanted this film not to be so much nostalgic as, as to feel a little bit um, timeless, you know, and, and like a meditation, you know. And black and white somehow helps you to focus, you know, on like a few elements. And, uh, and um, you know, you, you kind of engage with reality differently, you know, reality is in color. You know, that's transcendent, that's not of any time in particular. Mm -hmm. Well, no, but I was, uh, yeah, I was always, I always thought of myself as Polish, you know, whether I'm a Polish director is another matter, because most of my films I made, outside. are made outside, you know, but there's certain qualities that I associate with Poland, with my parents, with, you know, who are both Polish, and with a certain tradition in literature and in, in music even, that is specifically Polish, and, uh, and certain traditions which are, which maybe have disappeared nowadays, but I seem to be more in, in touch with them than, than contemporary Poles who are making films in Poland now. You know, there's no ambiguity there. It, but what is particular about me is that I've lived in like four different countries and I couldn't help entering, understanding the perspective of different societies. You know, I learned the language, I observed how they see themselves. And it's very difficult for me to, for example, dismiss a whole nation. You know, like in America, you know, I came across this in the States, this, in Q and A's. People say, oh, the Poles are such evil anti-Semites, I said, oh God, you know, Poles, how can you dismiss a whole nation, you know, with one sweeping, you know, phrase. Um, so, of course, you know, I, I don't want to engage in debate, so I kind of just avoid these discussions. You, you know, in Poland you get all sorts of, you know, human beings, like uh, in every other country, and, you know, some traditions are great, some are not so great. Uh, but, you know, you can't just reduce a nation, you know, and, and whether it's the Poles or even the Serbs or, or anybody to just one epithet, you know, so, uh, so I don't suppose if you live in many countries, in many societies, you know, you kind of, whether you like them or not, you can't help entering, you know, just understanding a bit more, especially if you speak the language, you know, how they feel and just to see the variety of human behavior in one place. So inevitably, I'm just, you know, very aware of, 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 of you know, these complexities and, and, and you know, so, so it's very difficult for me to simplify. It. Yeah, I mean, people, I mean, people are full of contradictions, and that's, you know, it's, it's annoying, but, and, but we should, you know, not, not, not try and reduce them to one thing. Of course, we, we should, you know, what I always try, what I feel the nostalgia for is some kind of overriding logic, you know, some kind of transcendent logic in things. And I think that tension between the paradoxes of life and the incoherence of life and the desire for coherence is where all art comes from, you know, all interesting art. And, uh, and most films are, that I like and most books that I like are not just like books with a, you know, some kind of didactic purpose, but are there things that, or books or films, you know, that, that where the, the author is in dialogue with himself or herself, you know, where you can actually see that, you know, that kind of the battlefield, you know, inside somebody's soul, you know, and not some kind of simple transliteration of a simple truth, you know.